Galrach versus Anti Kaiju. Greenskins versus Tomb Kings. We have some units we don't often get to see. Doom Diver Catapult and Nerfed Wurzag versus a Tomb Scorpion. And I suppose the Blessed Legion of Flach is still pretty fresh. Scream Skull Catapults are not like super meta, but they're not shocking to see either. The rest of this is pretty standard for the Tomb Kings. Tomb King's front line of Skeleton Warriors, backed up by Skeleton Spearmen. We have two Ushapti Great Bows, one of just the Chosen of the Gods. We have the Blessed Legion of Flach, Skeleton Archers, two Scream Skull Catapults, Eyes of the Desert, two Skeleton Horsemen, an Ark in the Black, with a uh, Fate of Union Spirit Leech, and then a Tomb Scorpion for a source of terror. On the other side, for the Greenskins, Wurzag, we don't see him a lot since the nerfs, but he is still a pretty good Lore of Big Wa caster if you really want Lore of Big Wa. And he is bringing his Bonewood Staff, so it'll affect people around him, but that's it. Other than that, we have four archers, three of which are Savage Orc Arrow Boys. One is the Rusty Errors, Night Goblin Archers. We have a Doom Diver Catapult in the back, two Stone Trolls, a front line of Goblins and Squigs, and two Orc Borgwigans on the flanks. Doom Diver, I cast another replay today. I don't know when it'll come out on the channel, but Doom Diver really disappointed us versus Chaos. We'll see how it does versus the Tomb Kings as it is moving forward to counter fire against Screaming Skull Catapults. Those Catapults, with their discouraged take cover thing from hitting people, they get uh, hit by artillery minus 10, damage sustained minus 16, and uh, discouraged by ability minus eight. So it's pretty brutal on a low leadership action like the green skins, as we have some squigs already routing, Savage Orbs thinking about routing too. Orc Warwick begins trying to get in the back line. They pretty much only want to fight large targets, so they'll take a fight with these Skeleton Horsemen. They should massacre those guys, but they don't want to deal with Chaff at all. Goblins are trying to get rid of the Chaff with some help from Stone Trolls. They're getting shot all the way, and that is actually just a Skeleton Warrior summon from Arkin to slow these guys up. More Orc Warwick begins coming in for the back line. Sprocko Stalkers trying to offer supportive fire against those other Orc Warwick begins, but they got problems coming in the rear. Scream Skull Catapult is now under fire from the Doom Diver, and it already lost a model, so good job, little Doom Diver there. The Greenskin Frontline has seen better days. First bait, Fate of Buna is out from Arkin onto an Orc Warwick begin, trying to take them out, but it will be a rear charge on the Screaming Skull Catapults. Should do decent damage, even though Orc Borber Biggins are notoriously terrible against infantry. Like, I mean, come on, you're rear charging an artillery piece. Should be okay, right? Skeleton Horseman getting finished off, which will open up the back line to our Greenskin friends. And the Tomb King front line is getting massacred. And already some of their areas, they've had to pull up their secondary line of spears to try and hold that front line. Tomb Scorpion tear outs off some Gobos. You might tear out off the Stone Trolls, too, despite the here we go. They're just taking too much damage that they're going to, yep, tear out away, so go to him, Scorpion, go. In the back line, Chosen the Gods now under Archer Fire, as Sporkle Stalkers rip apart the Orc Barbie Vigans, who are actually thinking about routing, despite beating up on these Skeleton Horsemen. They're taking some poke from Spears that they don't like. One Catapult is down from an Orc Barbie Vigan charge, they're now surrounded by Archers. Not Archers, sorry. I don't know why I said that at all. Skeleton Spearmen. Blessed Legion of Fach lose an Archer Duel, but the Ushapti Summon from the Tomb Kings is already out on the back line, trying to stop these Savage Orcs. Doom Diver Catapult still firing in, has 230 damage, which is huge as it hits Chosen Gods and doesn't do anything. Arkin is Spirit Leeching Warzag a little bit. Tomb Scorpion has taken some damage, and he's starting to fall back to his Spearman, where he can get a little bit more support as uh, Stone Trolls get Fist Support for more damage. Orc Boar Boys, one is routing, while the other two just regained their senses and are coming back to the fight, trying to charge in these Screaming Skull Catapults that have routed off so many of their brethren. Tomb King's front line is really suffering. Bounce power is like dead even though, which I find strange. It feels like the green skins are doing very well. Blessed Legion fades away. Screaming Skull Pet Catapult is gone, so. And now the Chosen of the Gods are once again under attack by Orc Boar Boy Biggins. These other Orc Boar Biggins get stuck up on Skeleton Spears, which is a terrible trade for them though, so that's gonna go in the favor of the Tomb Kings. Another Wa is out, giving ITP to the whole army. While that helps with terror from the Tomb Scorpion, it also helps with the fear that literally all these skeletons provide. Tomb Scorpion is dying. He's only gotten 100 value, which I find kind of insane, but okay. He does get a little snip there onto Wurzag, plus a Spirit Leech from Arkin trying to lower that Greenskin leadership. And that is kind of the only way they can win at this point, is if they kill off Wurzag. Doom Diver Catapult still firing in. 
poking at the Chosen of the Gods. A little bit. Tomb Scorpion's dead. Skeleton Warriors are fading. Balance power goes in the favor of the Greenskins even further. We still have Sparkle Stalkers. We still have some Chosen of the Gods. We still have some Skeleton Spears. As a Fists of Gork is out for the Orc Corporate Biggins. Sparkle Stalkers wandering a little too close to the sun as they get shot by a bunch of archers, but also... But also, like, you know, all this stuff is closing in on them. Does Wurzang have his other net? Yeah, he has his other effigy again. He should probably use it on the Sporkle Stalkers and just get them to stop moving. Because they're in a bad situation right now with Fistigork. But Fistigork is fading, so... Kind of shocked didn't use his other net there. Other Orc Borbiggins charging onto the backline who Shopties. Trying to shut them down with some Stone Troll support. Greenskins spreading themselves a little thin, though. They pulled the Stone Trolls off the Sporkle Stalker fight before that was won. And now these Orc Borbiggins are going to get routing. It looks like they really wanted to stop the Great Bows. Say goodbye to the Great Bows. They are getting massacred, to be fair. So green skin archers continue to move up, continue to do good damage. Brain burst on all these skeletons, doing good work. But Wurzag is taking a lot of damage. Now that he's isolated, the goblins are routed off. Big spirit leech in from Arkin, and Arkin's actually trying to beat his ass with the skeleton summon and all these support stalkers. Stone Troll's starting to come back now, but is it enough? There's an effigy to get onto the eyes of the desert. To net them, but I think mostly just for the damage, since Wurzag was going to rally, he wanted to at least get that damage off. Chosen of the Gods, crumbling, barely uh, rallying, so they're not crumbling anymore. The other Shop to Great Bow is gone. These Proko Stalkers somehow not crumbling. Archers are firing in. Wurzag's getting danger low. The Stone Trolls are routing too. If the Stone Trolls and Orc Borba Biggins are already routing with Wurzag alive, if the Greenskins finish him off, that'll be a disaster. Doom Divers still firing in, man. They're trying to get their value back. It's seven minutes into this game, and they've used two-thirds of their ammo. But, man, they're trying to get their value back, which is sad. If an artillery uses that much of its ammunition, it should be winning, not... I mean, uh, like, doubling its value, not barely paying for itself. If it uses all of its ammo or something. Where is that? at 500 HP, taking another Spirit Leech. Arkin is charging out to try and keep these things routing, and he's just going to rely on Spirit Leech to kill off Wurzag, which it looks like it will, actually. Yeah, Wurzag is dead. He shatters some stuff, routes some other stuff. Chosen the Gods are once again crumbling, though, because Goblins caught up to them. So Sepulchral Stalkers and the Chosen the Gods are just about doomed. We have two Skeleton Spearmen left that are doing okay, two that are quite injured, one so much so that it's crumbling, and Arkin is very healthy. For the Greenskins, we have a Doom Diver Catapult that's chilling. I guess that's something. We have Stone Trolls that are getting chased off. This one's so low on leadership, it's actually just going to route again. So it means it has one route left before it shatters. We do have a lot of Greenskin Archers left, and some of them are Savage Orcs, which can hold their own. Chosen of the Gods getting to fire briefly into the Durusti Arrows, which is actually huge, because as they get flanked by these Skeleton Spears, they will rout. The Greenskin leadership is proving to be a real problem for themselves. Two Skeleton Spears now crumbling, though, which is a problem for the Tomb Kings in Longevity. Three are crumbling. Well, that one's at two leadership, so he's barely still in it. As they're going to keep running out of resources, this very spread out map... Doom Diver Catapult, for now, is firing into Skeleton Spears to keep them crumbling. Interesting he's not firing at Arkin. Now he is. And Stone Trolls are maybe trying to take that fight with him. Their heal cap is coming within sight, but they're not feeling so good on the leadership front. If they can get us around on Arkin, though, they can mess him up. Pretty darn good as Savage Orcs beat their way out of these sp Skeleton Spearmen. One Skeleton Spearman has faded away, another Skeleton Spearman. Th these two are both really close to dead. Arkin chucks out a Leaper Mortis for himself, then a Spirit Leech. If he can get a summon behind these guys, the Stone Trolls will all of a sudden just be so outnumbered that they'll probably route from sheer terror. Not literal terror, but like, the concept of terror. You know what I mean. Not the gameplay mechanic. For now, though, they're getting really good damage on Arkin. There's the Skeleton Summon we needed, though it is on Arkin's side. It's not behind them, so they're not going to be like enemy flanking or whatever for their leadership. Yeah, so they're not taking a flanking debuff right now. But Arkin was just using it to get out of the situa situation entirely. It looks like he wants nothing to do with them. As now he charges back in, once again trying to route these Stone Trolls. If he does route them, he'll probably just spend his time chasing them off the map. Because they're the last real threat to him. But man, they're a threat. He's already down to half HP. Stone Trolls, negative three leadership though. Actually, he doesn't need to chase them. They'll shatter. There are auto routes. We've witnessed that. Stone Trolls were at negative three for an awfully long time, but did manage to rally up, up to 14. I don't know how they didn't route in that time, but I think it's the leadership, like, fluctuating. There they go. They finally shatter with a Spirit Leech support from Arkin. Balance of power is coming back towards the middle, though we do have to note the Skeleton Warriors fake. Savage Orc Arbor Boys routing, but not shattered. 
the Rusty Arrows are fine, and Squig Herds get in the Skeleton Spearmen, but these Rusty Arrows should probably take this opportunity to shoot the Skeleton Spears in the back, but their Silver Shields aren't applied. Take out Arkin's support. Looks like they're all focusing on going in on Arkin, though. And the Doom Diver, I don't know what he's doing. He has three shots left. He's 200 gold away from paying for himself. Arkin shatters off one of the Savage Orc Horror Boys. Doom Diver's trying to fire in. Can they be the heroes we need in this game? Don't know just yet. Squigs are routed off. The Rusty Arrows did not support that fight, so the Skeleton Spearmen are free and clear to go flank them. Here come the Doom Divers. Miss. 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 All right, they're homing, but they're not nearly homing enough. For the love of God, will one of these goblin archers turn and just kill off the Skeleton Spearmen, please? Doom Diver's also turning its attention on them because it realizes it can't hit Arkin before he's going to go get to them. Goblins charging into the Skeleton Spears, plus the Doom Diver support, plus maybe if archers feel like helping out, that will be the end of those guys. The Spear Leech on the Doom Diver catapult is a little bold. These guys are literally no threat to you. I wonder if that Spear Leech is better spent on some Savage Orcs. Don't know. Last Skeleton Spear is gone. It is Arkin versus the world. As he clears out the Doom Divers, they have two ammunition left. They did not even pay for themselves. And they shot some decent targets this game, too. They were shooting at the Chosen of the Gods for a while. They were shooting at enemy catapults. They were shooting at Sporkle Stalkers. They were shooting at Arkin. I don't know. Spirit Leech onto the orc, Savage Orc Aura Boys, but they charge in to give themselves a little bit of a leadership buff, and Arkin is not the melee combatant he would need to be to really want to sit in these Savage Orcs, but thankfully their leadership completely gives out, and they shatter. Goblins shatter. Everything's shattering, and Arkin's all of a sudden ahead of the bounce of power. He has a skeleton summon that shatters off more goblins. More goblins shatter. Everybody's shattering. And these skeleton summons are going to walk towards the archers as Arkin takes the long way around to use the buildings to block for him so he doesn't even take any arrow fire. Because he realizes that these skeleton summons are uh, temporary. So if it fades away and he took like a bunch of volleys from these guys on his way in, he could lose. He's going to be nice and safe. A little spirit leech onto the savage orcs. They're going to rout on his charge. These night goblins are not going to last. The doom divers are gone. That is army losses. There's a very, very well-handled Arkin in the late game carried it for Kaiju. 2,700, almost 2,800 value for him. Tomb Scorpion did nothing. Sparkle Stalkers did okay. Chosen Gods did great while the other Shopty struggled. Screen Skull Catapults mixed, but overall not great. Skeleton Horseman got wrecked. Skeleton Spears and Skeleton Warriors did fine. But it was mostly the Arkin and Leadership show. For Galrach, Wurzag did okay as a buff monster until he got sniped, but like... You know, up until that point, he's doing great. Stone Trolls did okay. Doom Diver just sucked. Like, no artillery piece should use pretty much all of its ammo and not pay for itself. That's absurd. That's just absurd. That thing sucks. Orc Warrior Biggins did fine. Archers overall did pretty well. And then Squigs and Goblins did what they had to. GG. Very close game. Rawr! Subscribe, yes, yes.